What if a treatment for heart disease was found in the hedges or for cancer in the food chain or for depression in the local park? Well, today I'm talking to you about medicinal plants that are growing all around us. They're nature's prescription for the ills, diseases and the things that affect us. We are embedded with nature and nature has provided us with this rich source of healing in our own environment. This is a powerful secret that the pharmaceutical industry or the medical current, the, the medical community don't really want you to know. They don't want you to know that medicine is growing around you. Medicine is in your park. Medicine is in your garden. Medicine is on, on the side of the canal. Let's go and look for those herbs. Let's go and see what they can do. Let's look at the evidence. There's a wide evidence base now for herbal medicine. There's a range of academic journals and more and more investment is being put into researching these herbs because of the failings of many pharmaceuticals. And what pharmaceuticals are doing is trying to extract the active ingredient of a particular herb, but that's, it's not as simple as that. But the herbs, the herbs work because of the synergy, the energy of the whole plant, the, the chemical, the energy, the structure, the environment it's in, the color, the whole plant brings a healing quality that works because of that synergy. You're probably familiar with John's work, passion flower, nettle, ginkgo, ginseng. There are many, many herbs. People are turning to herbal medicine. People are going to their health shops, investing more and more money in preventative medicine in holistic medicine because people know that this is what we need. We need preventative holistic medicine that's going to stop us getting sick. Because when we get sick it's like the car is crushed and it's, we have to repair and rebuild and restructure. It takes a long time. But what herbal medicine does is it works in a preventative way to, to, um, to build a stronger immune system to fight disease and to build vitality, to, to promote energy, to promote well-being within the body. The body has its own healing infrastructure, its own healing alchemy, its own healing synergy. And what herbs do when we, when we connect with the environment, we allow herbs, that herbal tradition, that herbal wisdom into us to heal us, um, to boost our energy. Uh, and that's, that's what we want. We are to be our own healers. We, we, we were not designed in a laboratory. We were designed by nature. We are embedded in nature, and nature provides us with plants and uh, healing qualities. And if you learn these plants, learn how to use them, learn how to incorporate them into your, into your life, you will live stronger. You will be healthier. You will have less disease. You'll have more vitality. And you'll have a stronger sense of yourself in this world and the world around you. Subscribe to this channel and get a weekly video from me on the power of plant medicine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Do you suffer from anxiety or insomnia? A lot of people today are stressed. Passion flower is a fantastic herb to treat the nervous system.